So I'm going to show how to use the blinking effect in Final Cut Pro. So first of all, we uh, grab here a video. We pick a good spot here. There to there. So a piece of video. Turn the sound down, that's not too loud. And now let's say we want to have like a light here. Apologize when this is a little weird looking here. So I have this light bulb. And I want to have this up here, let's say, and I want that to blink. Okay. So when I play this here, the light bulb will be on. But it doesn't blink. Okay. So now I can stop this and then I go here to effects. Or even better, I do a title first. So I go with a basic title. And I have a basic title in the same area here. There. Double click. And then we do just an exclamation mark. <coughs> Make this bigger. And then here bold like that and let's see and rad. Oh that's a little pink. <laughs> Make it full rad. Is that understood here? Yeah? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna move this over here too. Like there, right? So now when I play both of those, they play constant, nothing happens. Okay, now I go here to Effects, Custom, and then we have here the My Geek User Blinking Effect. And I take this effect and I drag this onto the light bulb, as an example. Click on the light bulb, and then you have here those controls. They are preset for a nice blink, so when we play now, then we see that the light bulb here is blinking. If you want this any faster, you can do this. You can here speed it up, let's say 100, and it blinks faster. You can even click on here and say 300, and then it blinks faster. Just the slider goes to 100. See how fast this blinks now? And you can also drag the same thing again, the blinking thing, onto the text. Here. Let's play that. So the text will now blink too, but it blinks here, go to video, with the 85 speed. And we had, I think, 300 on the other one. So let's do 500. And then it blinks super fast. So. Uh, for the eyes, it makes sense to have both blink with the same speed. So if you have 300 there, I would also recommend to do 300 on that one. Yeah, that's how this blinking uh, plug-in works. You can also change the amplitude. Let's show this here on this one. So when you change the amplitude to less, then it will not go away completely. It stays a little bit... There, so it won't turn off all the way. See that? Have to play around a little and what you like there. Like there. If you want that to happen, you can do the same thing here. With the amplitude 80% something like that. And that, that kind of thing. So I think that effect is pretty neat. And it's free. Just check it out. Click on the link below to download it.